Thank you so much. Um, they told me not to go off script because of Tyson's behavior. So, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm really going to try not to. But I do want to say that um, I have to say a special thank you to Caritha. She is a mentor and a friend. And we hiked the dish, which is this four-ish mile hike up and down hills by Stanford, very close to where we are. And Caritha would just go. I said, Caritha, I need you. And she's want to eat, you want to hike. I'm like, let's hike. This is a hiking kind of talk. Um, and there were moments when we were going through that acquisition by IKEA where I needed somebody to push me and somebody to challenge me, and she did that. So thank you, Caritha, and thank you for this wonderful introduction. I also want to say thank you to my husband of almost 19 years, May 28th. Chris is here. Um, I can't start anything or do anything. He is my soulmate. I can't do it without him. So thank you for being here. Um, this honor means a lot to me. This weekend means a lot to me. If there's one thing that I've learned over my life and my career is that community. There is power in community. I think we're all always seeking community. So I first became involved with the Culture Shift Labs in the first year in Silicon Valley, that was in 2015, Shelly Archambault, I don't know if she's still here. Shelly, hi Shelly. Shelly invited me to be her guest at dinner and she was being honored. Uh, so we found each other. What Culture Shift has done is brought together the community of African Americans in Silicon Valley who would never have been able to find each other. We are the change makers that only really accidentally bumped into each other at Safeway or Whole Foods, if you want the organic kale, or like it as much as I do. But because of my relationship with Shelly, I am on the board of Nordstrom. And there's not one, not two, but three African-American women on that board today. <laughs> so it's through community that we all transition to new environments to tackle new opportunities and transform the world. Early in my career, community meant finding people who looked like me and had similar experiences. When I left my childhood home of Detroit, Denmark, Detroit, sup, 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 to attend Wharton Business School, I left a high school that was 98% black to go to a college that was 94% not black. My freshman roommate was the first Jewish person that I had ever met. And like back then, I didn't know what meant. Me, meant. I, mean, I learned it eventually, but I didn't know. But there was nothing wrong with that. I just wasn't ready. I wasn't ready to really immerse myself. But I did find a place at the University of Pennsylvania called the Du Bois College House. It was the black house. It's where a majority of the African Americans lived. And that became my hangout. It became my second home. It became my community. And it's where I studied. It's where I socialized. And it's where some of my best friends, even today, I found them there. But finding that community, it helped me transition from 98% black to 94% not black, it helped me transition into a new and unfamiliar world, and it helped me succeed. So after business school, I joined Google. And yes, I did get to meet Caritha if I hadn't joined Google, but it was another unfamiliar world. Two years in, I looked around, and there weren't a lot of people who looked like me in the room. So my unscientific thought was this. I'm having fun here. Other people should have fun here. And there's a whole category of people who, for some reason, are not in on the fun with me. So I founded the Black Googlers Network in 2005. It was my turn to create community. <laughs> not only did I want to see people who look like me, I wanted to make sure that Google, the awesome opportunity that it was, was more open to everyone. And it was this community that helped me, inspire me to wear my hair natural, to bring my whole self to work. Thank you, you can snap that, yeah, all right. Um, and bring my so whole self to work, and for that, I am truly grateful. And while all the companies here in Silicon Valley and across the country have so much more to do in creating diversity and inclusion, almost 15 years later, BGM remains one of the seminal forces driving diversity and inclusion at Google today. And I'm proud of that.
But I want to be clear about something. Finding community is not always about finding people who look like you. It doesn't necessarily mean people who come from an experience or a place that's similar to yours. Sometimes finding community means finding somebody who's different. In fact, my Henry Crown fellow ladies, who are some of whom are over here, hi! Um, they look very different than me and come from very different walks and paths of life. But this is the group that inspired me and pushed me to start TaskRabbit for good. It was not enough to build a global company that now operates in three countries today. I had to do more. I had to pay it forward for all the people who helped me get here today. So with TaskRabbit for Good, we're transforming communities. We're extending the power of what our platform does to populations that are undertapped. We're reaching out to people who are not equally represented on our platform, and we're partnering with workforce development organizations that we want to unwrap more people who might be lost, forgotten, or homeless. And that's amazing. That's what gives me joy and happiness in the company and the organization that we've built. So if you are here for the first time or you've been here before, this is a powerful community. Don't waste it. Meet someone new. But better yet, find someone to help. Karitha just gave her card out to two people. Go and seek and find someone to help because lifting up the other person lifts up the whole community. Lifting up the whole community is what transforms the world. Thank you for this honor. It means so much to me.